It's a heck of a story. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Ensley, and you may know me from my YouTube videos that I've posted over uh, the last few years. But you've probably been wondering, or maybe that's why you clicked on this video, is because you were wondering, what happened to me? And uh, you know, you've probably seen my updates on the master's degree, and then all of a sudden I just kind of fell off the planet. And a lot of people, I think, probably figured I just ran out of time to do the channel, which is not, you know, entirely untrue. So, uh, but there was a lot more that happened, right? And the first thing was around November of last year, I started having some kind of odd symptoms. And for anyone that is squeamish and doesn't want to hear uh, medical details, uh, you might want to skip this part at least, or maybe just the whole video, because I'm going to get into it. So. I started having kind of strange symptoms where I was, I seemed to get bladder infections uh, often. And I got to the point where I needed to take antibiotics just to keep them from coming back. Now, bladder infections are very uncommon for men. And I eventually learned, you know, what that was. There was a symptom that I had, and it was a weird one. I had air in my bladder. And that on its own isn't actually painful. Uh, it's probably what you're imagining. But it was uh, very odd, but a blessing because it was a symptom that was able to direct uh, the medical professionals to what the cause was. And the cause was what's known as a colovesical fistula. So that is when you have uh, something in your body, a weakness basically in your colon. And that is something that pretty much everyone has by the age of 30 or so. And then it can kind of get worse from there. You know, it doesn't have to hurt anything on its own, and most people have them and never have any problems. But uh, then it can start to become painful if it gets worse, and then even worse, it can become infected. And when it becomes infected, what happens is the bacteria can tunnel outside of your colon into some other place in your body, or it can head outside of your body. So in my case, it went from my colon to my bladder. So as if that wasn't bad enough, and it was kind of, you know, bad. Uh, on top of that, I had a, uh, let's just say, auto accident. Now, one thing that you may or may not know about me is that I own a motorcycle. I started riding uh, motorcycles at the beginning of 2023, and I'll put a link to my motorcycle channel, you know, below. But I was riding my motorcycle going north uh, on a road, you know, two lane road, there was someone in the left lane a little bit in front of me, and I was just going straight ahead in the right lane. Now there was an on ramp, and that person decided they needed to be on that on ramp immediately. So I don't even think they looked, you know, they pulled the wheel to the right and went right into me, slapped up against the motorcycle. I didn't fall off the motorcycle, the motorcycle didn't fall, but my foot did get crushed, and I noticed, you know, he pushed me into the on-ramp he was trying to get in. I noticed about halfway up that, that I couldn't feel my foot. So I stopped, you know, got the uh, ambulance to come, and, and I had some help there. Some nice people stopped to uh, help me out. And it turned out that my foot was broken in five places. I had uh, three metatarsals impacted, and that is code for you're not going to be walking again for a while. And basically it was in so bad shape at that moment, there wasn't much they could do. We had to wait a few weeks for the swelling to go down uh, and then we did surgery on it. That left me with some pins in my foot. Then uh, just a few weeks ago, I was able to get those pins taken out. So now I've started to walk with a boot and now I, I just a few days have graduated to actually wearing a regular shoe again. And I'm at the point where, you know, it still hurts. Uh, but, you know, that wasn't even all I had to deal with uh, as far as medical stuff when it came to this. Right before uh, my colorectal surgery on my gut, it was terrible timing, but I, I managed to get COVID. And that ended up pushing that uh, colorectal surgery out a week. I'm really lucky it wasn't more. And, you know, with all the other things I was dealing with, uh, that made life very hard. And... You know, I can say with the gut surgery, you know, that was difficult. You know, that was the kind of surgery that you can't sit up in bed afterwards. You need to get somebody to help you up. But after that, things have been looking up. I've been getting better and better every day, and I'm just continuing to work as hard as I can, you know, to keep 
uh, working on the foot, uh, working on my abdomen, which I think is mostly back by now. And my plan is to be getting back to normal uh, mid-April. I'll be going back to climbing. I will be going back to riding my motorcycle, uh, probably just not as often. And with a few extra safety rules this time, you know, the, riding a motorcycle is difficult. It's one of those things that, especially in like a high traffic area like the one I live in, it can be a little bit unsafe. And I'm um, just trying to find ways to make it more safe after what happened. So. Yeah, my master's degree. I did have to go ahead and drop my spring semester class that I was planning to take this semester, which really, really hurt because that's my last class until I get the master's degree, and I'm very ready to have it finished. I will definitely provide some kind of review on the last class I take, and I'm pretty much planning to take that in fall at this point. I don't think I'm going to do summer because, you know, I've done a YouTube short on that. The summer classes tend to be rushed and uh, I don't really want to end my uh, master's degree on that note. Plus I don't actually know if I'm going to go any further in academia. I don't, you know, expect myself to do a doctorate right now, but you know, it's always on the table. Either way, it could be the end of my academic career as far as, you know, college degrees go anyway. So I definitely want it to end on a good note. So yeah, you know, that's what I've been dealing with, guys. I do hope that I can start making videos again soon. I will have kind of the summer off, so I may decide to do some videos at that time, and we'll just see, you know, if I have the time to do it, because my number one priority is is recovering and getting my you know stomach better, getting my foot better, and I'm well on the way to that, but it definitely takes priority. Then, you know, I also have my full-time job that I focus on, so... Uh, if I can move things out of the way for those two things and still have enough time to do videos, you may see some in the meantime. I'm not sure if I'll have much time to do one when I'm doing my master's degree, but that's also a possibility. Beyond that, next year I'm thinking 2025. Uh, I'm hoping will be more of a banner year for this channel because I should have a lot more time uh, to contribute. So thanks for listening. I appreciate your well wishes, and you'll see me again soon. Have a good night. Thank you.